What is life? What is life? Hey guys, welcome! It's Fong here. Now, today I want to talk about a topic about vision. Where are you going to be three years from now? Now, three years is 156 weeks, 1,095 days, 1,577,936 minutes. What could you do in that time? Now, I ask people, what are their goals? What are they going to do in three years time if, if you were to sit down and write it all out and put a plan together, what would it look like? And you know what? Some of my friends say, I don't need to have a goal. I don't need to have a vision. I'm just going with the flow. And you know what? Some of them say, they're too busy. Now, if you're one of those people who think, okay, look, I'm gonna go with the flow with life, I'm happy. But by the end of the year, I always hear this, man, the year just went by, it just went so fast. I don't know if I've done everything. Well, let's put some strategies together. I wanna help you and let's focus. I want you to get the maximum time at looking at every single minute, every single second, and every single day of your life to get to where you need to go. And here is, warning, warning. This video is about you thinking and taking action and writing things down. So go grab a piece of paper, go get a pen, pause this video right now. Pausing, pausing, pause. <laughs> so if you pause, you've got a pen and paper. So here we go. Tip number one. I want you to go get a piece of paper and a blank piece of paper or a paper with lines in it and go get a pen. Right now, pause this video if you have to. Pause. I'm gonna give you some help, helpful tips, but if you don't wanna watch this video and not know, you know where you wanna go, that's fine. But let's do something concrete. Let's, let's not say, oh my God, it's August, it's September, it's going to be Christmas. Let's put things in place because I am not that sort of person who sit around and just do nothing. In order for me to get to where I need to go, I need to be very specific and I need to write it down and I need to look at my vision every single day where do I want to go and the thing is it's not always concrete because this is where you come in and when you look at your vision you kind of realize nope this isn't working for me let's change let's turn this whole thing around and realize hold on is this for me am I happy is this draining me is this the way I perceive life really so here's some topics for you if you truly lived your purpose each day, what would you be doing? What would that be? But if you're living your purpose now, great! That's fantastic because you're creating your own happiness and you are doing what you want in life. But for those who don't know, what is your purpose? Find out. Let's just take a look at that. Let's dig deep. And I think we're going to have to do a video on those who haven't actually uncover their purpose, because I'm all about uncovering purpose to share your life's gift. Two, tip two, if you were at your best most frequently each and every day, how do you think life would feel? Have a pause of that and think about it. Okay, tip number three, if you acted only on your values, what would your friends and family say about that? What sort of values are you giving out? If your definition of success was being realized, what would be the proudest moment that you foresee? And this is about manifesting, visioning, about what that moment would feel like and would look like. If you are mindful of the golden moments, what would that look like as well? 
Anyway, so I have put together five tips there, food for thought, for you to think about because this is really important for you to just start to set in stone of your direction. Okay, so you've got those five tips. Now let's break it down. Okay, let's get really specific, really specific. So what I've written here, what kind of work will you be doing? Write it down. How do you feel about this work? Because I want you to feel, not only that you're just seeing and viewing and visioning, how do you feel? Because when you start to feel, that manifestation starts to happen. How much money would you be earning? And what would you do with that money as well? And I want you to get specific and I want you to write, you know, year one, you want to be earning X amount. And year two, you want to be earning X amount. And year three, I want to be earning this amount of money. So we want to grow exponential. And then, what are you going to use that money for? Hmm. Is it on cars? Is it on shopping? Or is it putting your money back into the business and growing and expanding that business? Or are you putting it into property? Are you investing in property? Are you investing in people? What is it? Now, I say this and I say it really seriously. I believe in health and fitness. In order to continue your life's purpose, remember your body is your temple. <clears throat> your body is your temple. So I want you to have a look at how you're going to keep yourself fit and healthy in order to carry this life purpose forward. Remember in some of my videos, I talk about changing your physiology, which helps change your mindset. Another important specific question is how or what is it that brings joy to your, to your life? So what sort of people that you want to hang out with that makes you happy? Because you're going to be spending lots of work with them and different types of people. But what we want to do is dig down on your specific avatar as well. Because if you don't like hanging out with, for example, you want to run a gym, but you don't want to hang out with all these bodybuilders or powerlifters or strongmen because of their ego, then you're not in the right industry. So what is it that you... <laughs> want to hang out with that brings you joy to your life who who do you want to hang out with i should say <laughs> that will bring joy to your life what are you learning so what difference does this make to your life so if you want to become a leader what sort of leadership skills do you need what sort of strengths do you need what sort of, in, in order to run a business, what is it that you actually need in order to get these goals happening, this, this, your vision, your actual vision happening? What do you have to learn? Because fear, in one of my videos, is fear is literally based on things that you are you don't know about or you're, it's the unknown. So the more you educate yourself in that particular area, Feed this brain, feed this brain with knowledge. That's what you need to overcome that fear. What do you do for fun? What are your hobbies? What ignites you? What puts that fire in your belly? Because that's another idea as well. Good question. Another tip is, what have you conquered emotionally? And another tip would be, who are your mentors? Who are your coaches? Who can you actually approach to get whatever it is, your goals, your visions, your vision, that's basically what we're talking about here. Who can actually help you to step forward, to move forward, to help you progress? Because they are the ones who have learnt all the mistakes, the failures, and they have gone themselves back up. So they've gone through a journey, so they can actually share their story with you so you can minimize risks as well so I hope that actually helps getting down and finding out exactly what it is that makes you alive and following your purpose because it's so important it's understanding where you're gonna be in three years time so once you've done that you've nailed that down let's do a five-year plan let's do that on another day shall we so just to rest that brain of yours but if you're on a momentum and you you are actually visioning why not why not keep going just keep going but i hope this helps
What's your goals? What are your visions? No, no, I've done it wrong. What are your goals? What are your visions? Ah, let me reword that. <laughs>